I was just nice or we're professionals. Really. Yeah, we're, we're obviously the best. Yeah, you'll see us at top of Evo. Absolutely, there's no way, there's no way we're not going to be at top. So, oh yeah, these guys getting underway: Tails and Greatness, Cosmic Kings, Jaxus. Right, yeah. Jaxus yeah. and, and uh, G-Man versus Ninetales and Vivid. Ninetales just, he's got no loyalty. I've seen him play with so many different people. Oh, really? Yeah, he's, he's, he's just certain he teams. Just, yeah, like, last, really? last time I was here, he used to play with Rosalina. You know, it's like... True. The Rosalinas that have no loyalty, they don't care. They just oh, yeah, do no. Their own thing. All right. I do think they're definitely the ones favored in, um... No? Yes? Yes? Oh, oh wait, I'm It's Arvind doing that, yeah. There we okay. go, okay. We need another match. I know. I absolutely Singles love is way easier because yeah. you can look at tendencies a lot more and like the mindset in this. You're looking left, right, you know. Yeah. And you're watching it the, the way they switch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Once again, that's Vivid just it's suicide. It's just why not, right? I know, yeah. He's completely yellow here. But it's just uh, like a, the last set he was playing. Yeah, yeah he got a footstool. Uh, yeah, he got yeah. footstool right off the beginning, just right off the bat. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it, that really hurt them in that game. They it were down, did. I think, three to six in stocks. Wow. Really you get a lot stronger here. So oh yeah. Far. I mean, it just it fascinates me because I've actually not seen um, Little Mac play competitively. A lot of people think he's too high risk. Oh yeah. But yeah. obviously, His recovery. I mean, you just saw that. Like, he's, yeah. He's yeah. Killed yeah. these early percents, and then. Yeah. And that's just that's just terrible. But he's got. Such a great fighting mechanic. He stays in the center of the stage, and it's what makes him really great, I think, for the doubles because you've got Rosaline who's just looking around. Yeah, and now yeah. Wow, that's another stock. Stock, very nice. Stop, enough, but and another stock, Little Mac, just yeah. using stocks left and right. But well, the nice thing is that Rosaline is still three. So technically, yeah. it's still four stocks each, and then with um, Little Mac's strength, in his, and they have such good zoning with both Rosalina and Little Mac, is what you were saying. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they can really control the stage, and then, so. Exactly. If they, if they want to go play in the center, Little Mac's going to be there playing in the center. If they want to kind of float around the edges, Rosalina's going to be there too. Oh, yeah. So, do you hear anything in these? I cannot. Yeah, I can't either. Just making sure it wasn't just like the I'm here, all I'm hearing is game, game sound. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, that's easy. <laughs> and of course, uh, the personality of Vivid just adds so much more color to our it, it really uh, gathering here. Yeah. It's always funny to see him stand up and flex when he gets that awesome tail. Yep, gotta get that. Oh, little Mac out. Oh, he's takes completely out. Stock. That's the first time that he's been completely out, isn't it? Um. For this one, yeah. Yeah, so for this turn, anyway. Yeah, that's the first time that he's. So it's actually kind of smart that they're doing like a high risk character, like a high risk, high reward character, but then playing a really safe one with Rosalina. Because yeah. she can survive lots of bloody, really, like. The same oh, oh, well. He's completely out, he's gone, no more little Mac, yeah. and I'm sure Jax is as happy to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Nine Tails has, oh, it's, you know, kind of a challenge right now. You right. know, it's one stock to four, 76 <laughs> percent. It's it, you might say landslide, but I just say uphill battle. Exactly. And that's game right there. That's game number one. So it's definitely going to be a very convincing uh, a win there for, for Blue Team. They just really never oh, yeah. gave up anything. They were, they were trading percentages, but they were never absolutely um, taking bad trades. Oh yeah, they were. And that's the thing is like when you're reversing that little Mac character, it's like you can if you take those even trades, that's really good for you. Absolutely. Because she has such good recovery, wow. and Captain Falcon can live to high percents as we've seen throughout the tournament. The little Mac can't. Absolutely. So if they can keep hitting him off and taking those trades, where he's going off the stage, Abs absolutely, and they take that bad. bad recovery. Oh, they're yeah. not focusing Rosalina because Rosalina has been and Ninetales has been fantastic at playing more a backline, kind of setting this up. Oh yeah, and uh, just skirting it. But because they're able to kind of more or less focus down the like I feel, kind of get him out of the fight before he can really do that. Much. Oh so yeah, it's, it's really useful. Well, with Rosalina with her Luma and then her up B is just yeah. so good from a uh, long because it's such long that it covers so much ground. Right. And she's just so naturally safe that. Um, are we getting underway? It's the uh, same teams, but on battlefield, right? So, what do you think? I mean, what is what is the focus here? Do you think from the from the uh, cosmic or from the tails and greatness? What is the focus here coming I mean, to try to change? What are they going to try? Um, they definitely need to get the, the middle. Okay. They really have to have better control over the center of the stage and really just control like the neutral game. Because if they can control the pace and have them come to you know if if they right. can have cosmic things come to them, okay, um, they can. I have to change the score. <laughs> but, um, because it's better. Oh, it does! It's going off again! Exactly. But see, it's because I. You know, I just think it's because I'm like, just yeah. on the sides, you know? Like, right, that's right. what, what Cosmic Kings want to have happen. Moosey is also Luma now, so incredibly vulnerable at this point. And Jax is trying to keep her off the stage there. Um, but it's not really working. Getting back towards the middle there. But, oh, yeah. 
Oh, and Jax just goes for the up, and it's not quite enough. Got the Bruiser, the, the Luma back now, so a little more protection. He really made good use of that, I think, 13 seconds or so, where the yeah. Luma's gone. Absolutely, he did. He tried his hardest to get there, and it might be... Ooh, and Captain Falcon's off the stage, but... <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with Mortal Mac, is you could be playing well against him 90% of the time, but if he gets that one smash or that... KO punch even on that on the hard read, you know, he can just turn the ties instantly. Early I was listening to Vivas. Oh, and there's a very, very high Rosalina. So high, touches the sky, doesn't yeah. come back down. <laughs> um, uh, I was actually uh, listening to the Vivas. When he's playing the Mag, and there it is again, just flying off the recovery. Gets oh, yeah. Um, he was saying, it's really about the read. He was saying sometimes six or seven levels deep of he thinks, I think, he thinks, I think type thing. And to just find the right system there. So he could oh, just yeah. be feeling out, you know, how far does he have to go with his reads in order to land that yeah. So he gets a good read. He can, I mean, like, you don't you don't see it because it's, you, you can't. But the right. kind of mind game that goes into Smash, I mean, because you think of it, it's like, okay, I've done these recoveries this many times. Right. Like, they, they're they probably going to expect that. Right. Or they might not expect it. Right. You have to actually, you have to assume. And that, one of the things he was saying, and I think what you're trying to say is you have to sometimes degrade your player yes. to make sure that you're not going too far ahead. Ooh, big combo there from Blue Mag. He's off the stage, not quite Falcon. Up on those uh, platforms, they're trying to stay away from over there. The the so close. That would have been huge. That would have been definitely, especially this game, much closer. Three to four stocks. So, uh, make that. Three, three to three, three, but low max, I'd be very careful. The, the nice thing, though, is that if he can stay alive and rack up in, in the range, right, 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 he absolutely. becomes even scarier than he already is. And it looks like he's out. As he dies. As he dies. As he dies. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to get high percent, but not too high. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, definitely going to come in here. Rosalina, um, once again, nine tails sitting here. Very, very difficult. Um, oh, yeah. Not quite as difficult last time, he's not as high a percentage, but definitely something to be uh, desired here. And well, it's so difficult playing with so, um, such mobile characters, because you can maybe read the one, like, one character's movement, and as you're paying attention to them, the other right. one flies in with their mobility. Especially with, I mean, like you say, they're both mobile, Falcon and Sheik, the Captain Falcon and Sheik, they're just like everywhere. Uh, Sheik especially, just all over the place, all kinds oh, of yeah. stuff. So it's really, really difficult to, like I say, predict that, even if you know what they're doing. Sometimes you just can't. Yeah. Like, you, you see, you just kind of, you almost have to take trades eventually, because it's like, right. I'm going to get hit if right. I go up or down. Like, exactly. Oh, and there it is, Jax is with a nice, uh, I think it was a neutral air for the KO there. And that's going to be the Tales of Greatness. No, excuse me. I think it's best. It might be best of five. Cosmic Kings, okay, winning that one. Yeah. Might be doing best of five then. It looks like it. They're not getting up. And uh, that's definitely a good not sign. giving up. Got the American shades on. Exactly. Super that's focused just mode time. Yeah, that's just normal vision. No one was telling us earlier. All I can see is good white All right, all right. Bringing out Mario. The Mario is good. He, he was trash talking, I believe, a true, wasn't it? Yeah. My Mario would never do like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, now it's, it's time to shine. It's time to prove, because um, oh, yeah. Robert and uh, Shiro were playing against this exact same matchup. So, oh, yeah. Can his Mario truly beat Shiro's? Oh, yeah. And um, I think Mario has all the options, and his recovery is much better. And his um, he has an air game, which right. brings a new element, because all Mike's air game is very poor. And so he's going to get chic. Uh, yes. Kind of yes. And so you might, they might not have the same kill pressure early on, right. but I think the uh, extra mobility and extra options is definitely going to help them out for this match. I, I would not be surprised. I mean, Mario has been such a solid character. I've been told oh, by yeah. a lot of people he's not top tier, but uh, he's so solid, and it doesn't seem like he has a lot of screaming weaknesses. Yeah. So it's just a really, really great to It's really a jack of all trade character. Yeah. yeah. Like Which he's got the air doesn't help. Well. It's good in fighting games, but. You know, you have a Sheik who's just good at, he's actually good at everything. Right, but absolutely. Like, but he's good at being fast, and he's good at playing defensively, he's good at mobility, good at air game, good at recovery. Oh, yeah. um, so, so this is actually rare, because Rosalina is the first, actually the highest percent. Usually, he's the one yeah. living. You know, like he's, got, he's got the buffer of blue. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, the blue is gone. And he's off the stage, Ooh, never to return. team kill on that one. Oh, was that a team kill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Those are always so unfortunate. So, the question is, was it accidental or was it a little passive-aggressive? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think when you're down 0-2, it's, it's definitely an accident. <laughs> Absolutely, it's not really something you just kind of pull out there. Falcon going wide, but he's oh, certainly going to make it back almost gets Cab Falcon. Yeah. But uh, just, it's that position. He's up again, and on the screen. Oh, good up smash, and then great read on the, the grab. Absolutely. 
See, what I, what you already, uh, what I already noticed earlier is uh, I've seen Mario go to the edges already, like getting hit right. by the boss zones and surviving. Right, it's, rather than Little Mac who would go to the edges and then just... Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then that was it. Yeah, like, so it was pretty much a kill at that point. And definitely, it's just... Oh, great them. use of the, the custom grenade to pull in Rosalina. Okay. To get that free up smash in. Nice. And now Rosalina's already at 77% on her second stock, whereas she is still on three. Luckily, Mario's on three. Yeah. It's I'm, actually really even. Yeah, it's much closer now. I think it was a good pick. Sheik's off the mode. So now, for the first time this match, we've actually seen Dream Team in the league. Oh, yeah. And so, obviously, the Mario pick is working out. It's good. Oh, yeah. They're, they're picking up on this. So we, we might see a really interesting Game 5. I'm hoping. Yeah. Always hoping <laughs> to go to Game 5. Um, oh, Rosalina out, though. That's Rosalina. Just Sheik. Jax is so good at capitalizing off that. Oh, yeah. The down smash and the up air. What I really like with Jax and Sheik is when he goes for the... Uh, when he throws... When you're up above him. Right. He switches it up. Oh, he has so many new options. And it's so hard to predict because... He, he waits for you to react on right. this, and as soon as he sees you start maybe an air dodge, right. he up B so that it has that delay and kills you. Exactly. If you don't air dodge, it has the up A which can kill you, so I think it's it's really smart how and he... And he comes in back and forth all the time. A lot of, I mean, you'll see him go up, go soon, and up air, and then, and then nothing, and you're like, whoa, and then suddenly he comes yeah. right back at you. It's, it's and then so it, yeah. Confusing. It's almost like you were saying, it's like you almost kind of think you raise your play, like, because it's, yeah. you would expect him to go for that punish. Right. He doesn't, you, then the other player messes up because they're confused. Right. And then he punishes. Exactly, because normally they'd be like, alright, I'm ready for the punish, I know you're able, and so they're on edge, and then suddenly it's like, oh wait, he's giving me a break, maybe he's not as good as I thought. Yeah. And then, like, right when you feel like you're coming to cure, he, he has something there. Yeah. Or, or his team. He's just been watching. He's, exactly. He's ready for that next play. Absolutely. So this is actually an interesting match. It really um, is. We're getting, this is really kind of going in favor of green team. Getting um, down there, Mario's still all three stacks. Oh yeah, but blue team really needs to be careful because yes, they technically have, you know, like they have three stocks, but they're both at high percent. Absolutely. And if Sea Falcon dies, like Ooh. he just did. Right. So he does take it. Right. And Sheik's gone as well. One stock and that's what I was... Uh, that's what I was afraid of, though, because they're at high percent, so it's like if Sheik's at Sheik's at high percent, and if they take yeah. that stock, which happens. And now it's a 3v1, the exact opposite of what we saw in previous games, and it's got to be all due to that Mario not giving up all the stocks. Oh, because yeah. Because he's not played the little Mac. Vivid, living Changing longer, yeah. More options on the, the area, which I think is really yeah. effective with, because Rosalina covers so much uh, area with her attacks. Right. And then Mario also has so much control, so in his case... So he's, he's pretty much, he's, he's, he had, he's a jack of all trades kind of right. character, so... And it's, it's really great because, you know, people don't realize this, when you have three stocks, if you go to 90 instead of 80% and you're KO, you've got another 30% in your final stock oh, yeah. that you wouldn't have had. So just realizing that, oh, maybe I can't actually do anything, maybe I can get them a little more percent and maybe not take as much. Oh, yeah. Or take a little more before I get KO'd. And that's a strategy a lot of people um, are slow in picking up. It's just that, oh, maybe you're going to get yeah, KO'd. More than likely going yeah. to three stocks. But you want to get those like trades at the last exactly. minute. Exactly. Really make use of those final moments. Yes, the final moments are so super important. We've seen um, Jaxus in previous tournaments. Um, where he's on the 120% and then he just does a real combo. Gets him up to 50 before he gets KO'd. And it's like, well, now he has a huge advantage going into oh, yeah. the because it's like, yeah, they might have even stocks, but... Right, so there's, there's all kinds of things that go into that, especially um, adding, like you say, adding in doubles, it's just twice as much. Oh, yeah. Twice as much to watch, twice as much to be careful, especially as a player, you're really interested in... Uh, okay, switching up to uh, Zero Suit. Now, he said he's been practicing Zero Suit. Um, he played it last week in the singles, Okay, and did he, he took Pro Bear to... He practically reset and took him to game 5, but didn't win it. Oh. And that was after uh, Rockstar with the Sheik, and O2 with the Sheik, nope. and then brought it back with his Zero Suit. Well, I well that was in singles. In, in the doubles, it was a little right. iffy. But let's see if he's been, you know, maybe getting... Rid of those little rough spots in the right. play and really, uh, yeah. because a lot of people really round for Beth would be one of the best zero suits. Yeah, that's only place. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's the fact that you're able to take him that far, especially on oh, his own Rosalina character. almost got that early kill with the down air. Yeah, but just timed it a little bit off and just kind of uh, fully punish. Absolutely. So what do you think of this map? Because it's it's similar to Battlefield. It's the similar. The platforms are more even in space. Right. I think it honestly benefits Mario a little bit 
Oh yeah. Just because, just because he's able to move around a little bit, and she, I noticed anyway, always wants to go from ground directly up, and there's no way you can really do that here. Yeah. Which and maybe fun. that's why he switched to zero for this map. That maybe. could be. The yeah. Case. He's looking more for those um back to come on. Oh yeah. The there. And, and with the, the lower ceiling than other stages, right. that up B will get some earlier kills for sure. But but we haven't seen too much in that regard. And that looks like it's going to be Captain Falcon going out. But Jax just goes for oh, but nine else comes from underneath the upside. Yeah. Or the up air. Excuse me. That's one of those moments though. Where it's like. That's kind of what you're saying. So you want to cap it. It's like right. He was in a rough spot. Yep. And I think that was a good way to get some percent before you get the KO. Right. Because he was really you know, to be one there. He had a like, bad spot. He was yeah. in the air. Rosalina behind, below him, and there was just nothing he could do. So he went for that and tried to get the KO first. Just didn't but succeed. Really good DI by Morrow and just too low percent really. Yeah. Like, really it was. I mean he was only what 50, 60 percent. Oh yeah. So, uh, it's a low ceiling, but it's not that low. <laughs> <laughs> so green team just a huge. That Mario pick is just. Yeah, doing wonders for them. I absolutely think that was man, just a huge forward smash. This could have decimated CSS. Oh yeah. And, and then uh, look at this, Mario's still living. Exactly. Back, that would not have happened. And exactly. Then, and then Rosalina has good recovery. It's like this team just yeah. makes more sense. In the, it does. In, when you because it was I understand why they would do the little Mac because and it's, it's it's a fun character. Right. It's, it's very it's, fun. It's good synergy too. It's decent synergy. Yeah. But it's just not really good for the oh, stages. Yeah. I mean, I, guess I mean, so, uh, their char characters are better than yeah, 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 yeah. Right, and exactly. I think it was really smart. Oh, well, that's oh, a great, man. that's a great cape from Mario. Oh, and the Mario cape is something we talked about again and again and again and again and again, and it's just ridiculous. Oh yeah, it's painful for when you're playing those characters with the really obvious upbeats, like the spaces, like Bob right, and Bobby, because okay. you see their upbeat coming. So you have all this time to, you know, get that cape and then send it right. the other direction. And then, yeah, yeah, definitely more. I just, and I love Mario. Ooh, nice. He, Jax just lands it, but is he going to be able to oh. combo it in? Oh. oh! And again, 53% when he gets the combo there. He's not quite but, enough, but he didn't quite land oh, the last yeah. kick either. That was really good DI by um, Vivid right there. Yeah. But I, I definitely understand the reasoning for picking Zero into the stage. Um, I mean, like, this and Halberd have just such, you know, like, lower ceilings than the other. Right. And it's good. I just... Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, it's always whoa. something you see every now and then where it's just... You have that high-risk character, or maybe just a character that's really strong, but you never quite get there, you know? Like, yeah. Like, like we saw in this game, DSS, it was always on the, on the tip, and it was quite... Yeah. Yeah. Not quite. Like, maybe a 10%, 15% yeah, exactly. more, and that would have been a kill, but... Right. Just so close to converting some of those. And those are always frustrating, and they look kind of diffuse. It's almost like, why would you play that character? But the reality is just that the enemy team is playing sure, yeah. Vivis and Dying Tales there, keeping the distance oh, yeah. when they needed to, and um, it almost felt like kind of baited them in, like, yeah, you can come in here, and I know I'm low enough that even if you land one of your punishes, or I can, yeah. Yeah. So. And I mean, we kind of saw signs of that in the first two games that the uh, uh, Tales of Greatness lost, because Rosalina was living so long. Absolutely. And all of the deaths were pretty much just either gimps or just little max lack of recovery. And so now when you put you get rid of those, and you put in the same character like Mario, who you go with this very skilled with, you just get, like, you saw that they had four slots, they had two each. And that, that's another thing is, it's not, a lot of people overlook, like, oh, he's going back to little back, maybe? But it's, people overlook that, oh, maybe just not dying is better than really getting more pairs. Yeah. Like, like you point out, just, just subtracting the three basic gimps that Little yeah. Mac had um, that just aren't going to happen with Mario, they are already yeah. up three stocks. Because even like, if you, because like, like, Little Mac can kill like, way earlier than Mario, unless Mario gets like a really good side smash, they don't suck okay. side smash, so. But if you can survive, but like the difference between dying at 70% and like 120, or I mean, this is 180. Yeah, you have, like, you have so many more, you have so much more time for these opportunities yeah. to really punish the opponent. And the rage, the rage is another factor. Oh, if yeah. You avoid getting hit and you're at a high percentage, you have so much more power. Oh, yeah. To, to make the crazy play. So it's definitely. Um, it's definitely a lot to think about, and obviously, Vivis is way on his mind, and he's thinking about all these things, and he's just executing very well in these last few games, and now we're going to game five. Ganondorf instead of Cat Falcon, Sheik instead of Zero Suit, so... Going back to the comfort pick, but also no platforms on this one. Yeah, so uh, I think this is uh, really good for Ganondorf, because okay. uh, he, he's more of like a... Uh, you get to read the opponent a lot more, right. and when you remove the platforms, the, uh, there's less options. Okay. Yeah. So it kind of gives him a... Uh, an easier time. Luma down, but... Now, oh. of course, what we're all looking for is the flame choke. That's what we're yeah. nice to see. 
all we're gonna see, because every time we get an Orcus played, the match is always too close. Oh yeah. It's, it's always kind of sad. Mammoth is doing a really good job though. Oh, excellent. Uh, he's a really good off the ledge. Nice game. Not quite But he was doing a really good job at um, punishing rolls right. with some grabs. Really, he has that momentum in that Mario yeah. Kart match right now. Once again, he's keeping him off the platform. Oh, lack attack. Yeah. So good there by Village. Keeping him off the platform every time he tries to get back up. He's always a few moves ahead, making sure he's back off as soon as he's oh, back yeah. up. I mean, this kind of play goes to other games like like League of Legends, where the team that has the momentum Absolutely. has such a huge advantage because right. they can dictate the pace, and that's exactly what Vivid is doing with Mario. Yeah. It's where it, he, he gets to decide when they fight, how they fight, and how far they take it. Exactly. And so the whole time, G Man had to react to Mario. So, right. he, so all he had to do oh, was. Oh, Texas watch. is not going to make it on the stage! Oh, oh that's unfortunate. This is pretty close though. If they can uh, close out that Mario, which is definitely possible with the Ganondorf, um, it'd be two stocks all. But Ganondorf's already at eighty-seven percent, and um, yeah. it, I, I actually do like it because he he kills earlier than Captain Falcon, and he has a really good Captain Falcon place. Right. And you trade the speed for the kill potential. But remember, Rosalina and Mario were living at high percent. Right. And he's off the stage again every single time. And that's G Man going again, Ganondorf. He's never allowed back on the stage. And every time the blue team tries to retake the center of the stage, Green Team fends them off, fights viciously, putting oh, yeah. tons of damage. And there's just nothing they could do right now. I feel I mean, it feels to me like the domination, look at this. They get to the center of the stage and then they just close on from both sides with oh, yeah. small attacks. Mario's off though. Ganondorf did land that, he's gonna get that, but he's oh, yeah. now it's really kind of late. Yeah, with the, just the lack of the aerial presence that he has with Ganondorf compared to, oh, beautiful down air by Rosalina. But, um, I think it was a really good point, though, with how they work together to keep the middle right. under control. Because they wouldn't both be there. It'd be like Rosalina or Mario. Right. And Rosalina would use Luma to help control maybe the other exactly. side, and then Mario would help bring them either into Rosalina's attack yes. or keep them... Right, they will keep them scared in a sense. Yeah. Which is what you see here. Look, Rosalina is just playing back, so if ZSS, or uh, excuse me, if Sheik does make it back towards the center, there's someone there, yeah. and they're going to let it attack. And she already, and then she would use her recovery to get to the center or so. Right. So she's more vulnerable. Exactly. So trying to keep them on one side of her, but it's actually not the best thing. Look at that, from side to side. Never in the middle, and oh, quite barely. Nice oh, good guy, Mario. Yeah, it's Mario from the Luma. <laughs> <laughs> And see, look at the Jaxxus just can't quite make it into that final solution. You know? Oh, yeah. That was good patience by him, though, because he really, like, waited and then yeah. had the FB punish, oh, but great. the green team, upon that Mario switch, just Absolutely. took control. Like, they... Once you got rid of the whole gift potential... <laughs> There's Vivid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Once you got rid of that, um, yeah. you know, the little Mac, it was just... Uh, Give it up, they tried to play me in the Mac game 5. I saw that, yeah. I was, I was scared. <laughs>